This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Live from Goodno Gymnasium, tonight it's the 2020 Western Mass MIAA Girls Division III preliminary round. The eight seeded Frontier Red Hawks taking on the ninth seeded Palmer Panthers. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins courtside. Dave Reno is our studio producer. Welcome to the second season. Those schools that are fortunate enough to still be playing are just a few wins away from a trip to the Curious Cage. Maybe a sectional championship, maybe even more, but it all starts tonight. The preliminary round, Chris, girls tonight and the guys tomorrow night. Yeah, it's the first time that Frontier has hosted a girls game for the tournament, I don't know how long. 2011, long yeah. time. So it's been a while, and uh, this, this girls team is ready, I think, to be on this stage. Certainly, they play defense very, very well. Uh, sometimes the shooting has been suspect, but they've been on a hot streak recently, and they have had some success against this Palmer team in the past. Palmer, however, did come here to Goodnow Gymnasium earlier this year, February 5th to be exact, not that long ago. Palmer coming up with a 53-42 victory over the Hawks. Frontier that night got out to a 16-11 lead at the end of one, but Palmer took over from that point forward. They took a two-point lead into the halftime uh, session, then they outscored Frontier 14-7 in the third and 13-11 in the fourth, and they end up winning it by 11, 53-42. Madeline Terriel with 21 points to lead the Panthers that night and Jillian Lombardi at 14. And for Frontier, Amelia Sobieski with 18 and uh, Caitlin Mackin at 12 points and she had a ton of rebounds that night but they held Marie Demon in check. Hopefully Marie, a lone senior on this Frontier team, will have a much better effort here tonight. The winner of this game, number one, Wakona. A lot of people feel like Wakona can't be beat, at least in the sectional. But there's a few teams out there that may have uh, something to say about that, namely these two teams here. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but we don't look at you know, the, the rule in tournament play is you don't think about the next game. They got all they can handle right now with Palmer tonight. But you mentioned Marie Demon, and she's been on a tear recently. Her last couple of games, she really lit it up. She's been running the point for Frontier this season a lot. Uh, she's important. Sobieski is going to be huge. Caitlin Mackin has been playing strong. And Megan Self can shoot from the outside. They've got all the tools Frontier does to go for a deep run in this uh, tournament. We'll see what they do tonight. Spoke with head coach Dave Michon about a half an hour ago. He feels like the girls are definitely ready. He says they are locked in and ready to go. It's the second season. Everybody is 0-0. Zero and zero. And if you don't win, your season is over. If you win, you advance to the quarters. If you win one more time beyond that, you are going to the cage. We'll take a time out here in our pregame show. We're going to come back. We'll get you set with the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. The tournament is underway. The last sectional tournament, at least for now. This is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, 
and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the MIAA Basketball Tournament. Our guests this evening are the Panther Panthers from Palmer High School. Participating student athletes, coaches and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect. And back here at Goodno Gymnasium, pre-game warm-up in the books. Teams ready now to be introduced. And we are minutes away from the tip-off. Number eight, Frontier hosting number nine, Palmer. Winner gets number one, Wakona. And that game will be on Thursday night in Dalton. And we have a nice crowd that has turned out here. And plenty of folks, I look off to my right here, a lot of folks in royal blue coming up from Palmer to see this game. And of course, the Red Hawks with their nice home crowd here as well. And we're now ready for the introduction of tonight's starting lineups. ...of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service to our country. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Palmer at guard, number 10, Sage Youngberg. At guard, number 13, My Amiga. At center, number 55, Kendall Levasseur. At forward, number 42, Madeline Thirio. At forward, number three, Jillian Lombardi. Palmer is co-coached by Denise Levasseur and Amanda Thirio. Now for Frontier at guard, number three, Megan Self. At guard, number 22, Marie Neiman. At center, number 12, Amelia Sobieski. At forward, number 15, Kylie LaCord. At forward, number 11, Caitlin Mackin. Frontier is coached by Dave Michon. The officials for tonight's game are Todd Ann Andrews, Dave Blanchett, and Brian Connors. Can you please rise for our national anthem? So in this Division Three field, again, number one, Wakona gets the bye. They'll play the winner of this one. Hampshire's the number two seed, also a bye. They'll, play, they'll take on the winner of South Hadley Mahar. They're playing tonight down in South Hadley. That's a 10-7 game. Husick, the number three seed. They have a bye. They'll play the winner of Granby Greylock. That game's in Granby tonight. And Greenfield's the number four seed. They get the bye. They'll play the winner at home on Thursday night. Sabas or East Hampton. That is a 5-12 game. And I'll run down the Division 4 matchups when we have the moment here. We are set for basketball battle here. Lavasur jumping center for Palmer against Amelia Sobieski. Frontier in the home. Light gray with the red and blue. And Palmer, the visiting royal blue and white. Tip is controlled by Frontier. We're underway here at Goodno Gymnasium. Deep on the right side, Marie Demon wide open, and she nails a three-point bomb. Nice start to the game for Marie and for Frontier, 3-0 Hawks. And an air ball too strong on the other side, but then a weak side rebound put up and in by Maya Amiga. Makes it 3-2 Frontier. Hawks back on the attack, deep on the right side. Megan Self, Marie Demon has it, they go into the left corner. Caitlin Mackin looking for some help. It's tipped away. Kylie LaFord coming back quickly as Lombardi in the paint and thrown away. Tried to get somebody out there on the wing and thrown behind the intended teammate back to Frontier. That was just a miscommunication there by Palmer. About a minute in, 3-2. Taking it across again as Chris noted. Marie Demon running the point now. 
Going up against a 2-1-2 zone. Megan Sell between the circles. Top of the key, picks up the dribble, looking for some help. Sealed off, they go into a high post. Nice look down low, Mackin whirls her way through, puts it up no good, but Caitlin's gonna go to the free throw line for two freebies here. She was able to worm her way free, get underneath the basket, kind of threw up a crazy shot, and draws the foul against Lavasaur. That's the first one on Kendall Lavasaur, first team foul, obviously. Kaylin Mackin shooting two free throws, kind of a line drive off on the right side, no good. Not close, actually, she'll get one more here. Shooting off to our right. Second one is on the way. A little more of a knock on that one. Missed it, tried to get her own rebound, unable to get it. And here comes Sage Youngberg, just an eighth grader for Granby. There you go, top of the key, Maya Megan. Lavasaurus passes, batted down. Sobieski coming the other way, nearly tipped away from behind. She corrals it, left side through the hands of self. Megan though recaptures. Get it over on the left side. A jumper, air ball, way too strong. Out of bounds. That was off of uh, Tyriel. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier with 16 to shoot. A little early nerves here, I think, by both these teams. Kylie LaFord will inbound on the baseline right. Gets it to self. Wide open for three. Right side. Back rim, no good. Rebound taken down by LaFord. A new shot clock for the Hawks. Demon sealed off. Bounce pass on the right side. And the shot is up by Sobieski, no good. Rebound down low, put up, no good, but a foul. And right back to the free throw line will go Kaylin Mackin. That could be two on Lavasaur, I think. Let's see. Is it on 55? Yep. Yeah, Double Nichols has two, free th uh, two uh, personal fouls already. Less than two minutes in. First free throw up, no good. So that's three misses in a row by yeah, Kaylin. It's resulted in no points, those two fouls so far. And she checks out, and she's been replaced by JoJo McTeer. Second free throw, that one bounces around and falls off. We had a lane violation, though, called against Palmer. So one more try now for Mackin. It's on the way. This one is in and out, no good. Five consecutive misses when you count the lane violation. So it remains 3-2 in favor of Frontier. Miga gets a top of the key, Sage Jungberg back to Miga. Try to get her over to Terriel, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Palmer, 17 to shoot. Cyril Warren checks in for Frontier and Megan Self will hit the bench. Terriel throwing it in, all alone in the paint. Going for the bank shot, no good though by Lombardi. Nice interior D, Frontier got beat. Nearly a travel by Sobieski. Marie Demon putting into the paint, loses control of the basketball. Thuriel comes back on the right side, pass tipped out of bounds, that's off the of frontier. It'll stay with the Panthers. Lombardi will throw in just off to our left. Gets it in McTeer, deep on the left side. Back to Jillian Lombardi, picks up the dribble. Cross court pass, Young Bird tried to feed the paint, picked off by Frontier, Hawks look to run. Demon leading the break, comes all the way through. The runner though is no good. Rebound is taken down by Sage Youngberg. Takes it across, kicks it left side. Faking the jumper, may have gotten away with a travel with Lombardi, but they recapture it. Open on left side, a rainbow three is up and it is good, around the rim and in. It's like done by Sage Youngberg. Yeah, just rimmed in, but they're not gonna have any success feeding the paint. Frontier's picking that pass off every time. 5-3 in favor of the Panthers. Five minutes to play here in the opening quarter. First round game here in South Deerfield. Warren, bounce pass left side to Mackin. They go left side. Demon for three, hits a second one. Three came to play, she's got a hot hand lately. She has all six Red Hawk points. Hawks lead 6-5. Coming back quickly on the right side is Maya Miga out of bounds. A foul called against Frontier. Should be on Demon. They had her hemmed up pretty good in the corner. Well, that is on Marie, her first. And uh, Thuriel is going to inbound right in front of the Frontier bench. Gets it top of the key. Miga cross court pass left side. Another three point bomb put up by the eighth grader. No good by Sage Jungberg, but an offensive rebound. New shot clock for the Panthers. They work at left side. 
Coming through, bounce pass again. They tried to feed the paint. Got tipped away, but picking it up. Terrio puts it up from the left side off the glass and in. Strong play by Terrio. Madeline knocked it in, 7-6. Palmer reclaims the lead. They're just about halfway through the opening quarter here. Top of the key, Warren picks up the dribble. Cross court pass right. Pass is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier, 17 to shoot. They'll unbound it on the baseline. Ali LaFord will throw in. Gets it in, Warren is wide open for three. Left side, yes! Sierra likes that corner jumper. Hits it very, very well. Nine points for Frontier on three three-point field goals. And they've missed five free throws. Tipped away by Warren, recaptured in the backcourt though by Palmer. Running it up is Miga. Passes right side. Coming oh. through is Lombardi. A lot of contact, no foul either way. Another big <laughs> bump. Goes out of bounds, it's off of uh, Palmer. Wow, a lot of contact. Well, it's like it's like NASCAR. It's rubbing his racing, same thing here. I mean, you're gonna see them get away with a lot of that in the postseason. Rebecca Bridwell checks in for Frontier. We're down to 3.33 to play here in the opening quarter, 9-7 in favor of the Hawks on three three-pointers. Demon has it on the right side. She has two of them. Pass goes through the hands, though, of Caitlin Mack and coming back the other way. Long line pass down, Youngbird, and tried to save it, uh, trying to uh, save it on the baseline. Unable to do so was Madeline Tyrell. And it's gonna go back to Frontier. Hawks by two. Got a lot of the uh, Hawk boys basketball players here. They're gonna be in action later this week. Mack, a nice dish left side. Another deep shot up, no good, put back is no good by Sobieski. Rebound taken down by Mateer. Coming through now to the line to the lane. Young Burke kicks a left side three point bomb. No good, not even close. Lombardi threw up an air ball, goes out of bounds. Palmer will get it, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lombardi will throw in, nope, they change up. It'll be Thuriel. Goes into the backcourt, Young Berg. Lombardi has it deep on the right. Lombardi going baseline, gets it away, McTeer. They work it all the way down to the left. Everybody's touching it, but the pass is batted down. Nice interior defense there by Caitlin Mackin. Here comes Demon, back the other way, through the paint, batted down though by Lombardi. Lombardi's gonna take it coast to coast. Lefty layup is good, count it and one. Jill Lombardi, nice strong move on that little baseline post hook. And a chance here to give them a lead. Here we get the substitution. Megan Self is back in. Marie Demon will sit for the first time tonight. Do we have a TO here? Not at this point. And Megan Self is having a tough time with her headband. She lost it during play a moment ago and she just tried to adjust it and just got rid of it. Hope she can play without it. Free throw is good, so a three point play by Lombardi and Palmer reclaims the lead. It's 10 9, two and a half to play here in the opening quarter. Self, deep on the left. High pass way over the head of Sierra Warren. And it's going back to Palmer. Yeah, she had Megan really airmailed that one. 2.22 to play here in the quarter. Palmer with the ball in a one point lead, 10 9. Taking it across is Youngberg. Puts it over. Miga. Youngberg gets it back deep on the left side. Cross court pass. Open jumper, that's an air ball, no good. And attempted save on the baseline, no. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. Two minutes, seven seconds to play here. Opening quarter, winner again gets number one Wakona on Thursday night. The guys take over tomorrow night and the, the boys quarterfinal round games will be on Friday night. Bridwell gets it down low to Mackin. Oh, she could have gone up with it, tried to get over to Sobieski, picked off. Dario has it. Up on the left side, Youngberg. Coming through now is Lombardi. Not great passes by Palmer so far here in this particular set. Shot clock down to 12. They work it now left side. Miga, top of the key. All the way through the little scoop shot. It's partially blocked. Lombardi is denied. Here come the Hawks the other way. Self peels back. Frontier trailing by one, pass tipped out of bounds. That is off of Lombardi. Substitution for Palmer, Alana Wood, a sophomore guard, will check in. And sitting down will be Maya Miga. 
Warren takes the inbounds pass from Self. Megan Self gets it back on the right wing. Top of the key, Mackin. Caitlin throws it on the left side to Warren. They go left corner now. Back to Warren, top of the key. Shot clock at 10. Mackin try to get down low to Sobieski. A little bit of a low pass. They're going to say it's off Amelia Sobieski. And Palmer now will uh, take over possession. Neither team having much luck feeding the paint. It has not worked for either team tonight real well. That's gotten tipped away virtually every time. McTire. Like there. Yep, picked off again. Nice play there by Mackin. Megan Self, tricky dribbling. Pass theory up. Gets it up into the front court. Mackin gets it down low. Sobieski threw a double team. And they got her for a travel. Nice interior D down there, particularly by McTier. Well, Mc Palmer has Frontier well scouted. Every time Sobia touches the ball, she's got two or three shirts on her. 45 seconds to play here in the quarter. They try to get it down low. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Palmer. 44.1 seconds left in the quarter. And plenty of time on the shot clock. 25 seconds. Youngberg. Bounce pass left side. They get it left corner. And the shot up Ooh. and good for three by Joe Lombardi. 30 seconds left here in the quarter. 13-9 Palmer. Top of the key, Megan Self. Shot clock and game clock about four seconds apart. Pass is tipped away. Comes back to Sierra Warren. She'll take it in amongst the timber herself. Go through the big shot. No good. Put back. By Mackin, no good, and a whistle and a foul. That's going to go against Warren on the rebound as she bumped right in to the Palmer player, Madeline Theriot. Palmer right now is a little, a little step ahead of Frontier on defense right now, and they're up by four as a result. Ten seconds to play here in the quarter. Palmer with the ball. They lead by four. Top of the key, Lombardi for three. Front rim, no. Rebound comes to Frontier. Two seconds, one. That will do it. End of the first quarter here. Good no gymnasium, South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Palmer 13, Frontier 9. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, Frontier came out strong with uh, the three-point shooting of Marie Demon and Sierra Warren, but that's where they've been sort of locked down. Uh, not a lot of interior movement, not a lot of post movement for Frontier. The few times they've had shots... Uh, there's been a lot of contact down low, and ditto. Frontiers defended the interior pass very, very well, but right now Palmer's starting to make their outside shots. And it will be Panthers basketball as we begin the second quarter here, and Alana Wood will inbound right in front of us. Gets it into Sage Youngberg. Back to Wood, left side. McTeer, deep in the left corner, guarded by Self. Goes back to the wing. Lombardi with a big three a moment ago. Pass tipped away. Out of bounds. It's off of Mackin. It'll stay with Palmer. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Cyril Warren checks out. And back into the frontier lineup is Marie Demon. Theriot will be throwing the ball in in a moment. Another substitution, though, for Frontier. Back out there again is uh, freshman Kylie LaFord. Inbound the ball. Lombardi gets it over. McTire puts up a shot. No good. A travel before she let it go. Yeah, defended very well again on the interior. That one was uh, that time it was uh, Kylie LaFord that just basically posted her up. Marie Demon will take it across into the front court, top of the key. Right wing pass. It goes to LaFord into the right corner to Marie Demon. 
Back to LaFord, they work at left side now to self, top of the key, left side pass batted down, nearly a steal, it was stolen. Back the other way comes Youngberg, tricky dribble and pass to penetration. McTeer gets it down low to Wood, Alana throws up a blind shot, no good, way off the mark. Demon cross court pass on the right, Sobieski takes it right down low, went for the bank shot, no good, but a foul down low on McTeer. And it did a good job to get back on Sobieski. That really, that baseline is where she likes to play, where she likes to shoot. And that time she did a running shot and got bumped into. Two free throws coming up now for Sobieski. First one is good. That's Frontier's first points in a while since that three by Warren. And they're 0 for 4 from the free throw line. Actually, they're 1 for 5 now after the Sobieski make. Second one is on the way. In and out, no good. Battle for the rebound. And coming up with it was Palmer. Back the other way comes Lombardi into the front court. Now she backs it out. Over to Wood on the left side. McTeer, foul line left. Back between the arcs, Youngberg. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Youngberg, get it down low to McTeer. Picked off. Sobieski saw that, read it. Came up with the steal. Yeah, that's just not working. I gotta think about something else. Self up on the right, Marie Demon, and she shuffled her feet as she tried to penetrate left of the lane and back to the Panthers. Yeah, a little few too many unforced errors here on both sides of the ball, but Frontier does not want to get dragged down in that game. They're a very disciplined team when they can move the ball around in the half court offense, and they haven't been doing that. It's like been a running gun night. Maya Miga in and Alana Wood back on the bench for the Panthers. A nice steal by Demon, runs it down, tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to Palmer. That's why she's an elite player. She's great basketball intelligence and reads the floor and sees the floor very, very well. It's one of the reasons why she's running the point. Six minutes, 30 seconds left here to play in the first half. Palmer with the ball, it's tipped away. Loose ball on the floor right in front of us. And it's over and back, called against Palmer. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. Yeah, this really is devolving, Jeff, into street ball. This is not really what I would consider to be really good basketball in terms of, of the basics. It's, it's a running gun and all over the place. Frontier's got to slow it down, set up the half-court offense. Megan Self has it deep on the right elbow into the right corner. It goes to Demon, squares up for three. Yes! Do not leave her alone like that. That's a big mistake. Three threes on the night for Marie, and we're tied at 13. Lavasor and her pass batted down and stolen by Kylie LaFord. Double teamed in the backcourt. Got her way to Marie Demon. Nearly lost it. Loose ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. And checking in for the Hawks, number 10, Elena Mays Pollen. This is shaped up to be a rock fight, Jeff. It really yep. is. Six minutes to play in the half. We are tied at 13. Marie Demon, the leaner in the lane, no good. Blocking foul about down low. Maya Miga is going to get the ticket on that one. Not a bad idea there. Nothing wrong with going into the lane and seeing if you can get up a shot or draw a foul. Two free throws on the way for Marie Demon. First one is good, and that gets Frontier the lead again for the first time in a while. 14 13 Hawks, one more. For Marie Demon, shooting off to our right. That one's on the way, that one rimmed out no good. Lavasur the rebound, but threw it away. Threw it right over her teammate's head before they could set up the offense. I'm looking at Coach Lavasur, the Palmer, not at all happy. Taking it through now, left side pass. LaFord, it's a top key to self. Megan's gonna take a three, that shot is no good. Tipped around. And the loose ball picked up by Palmer. Running up quickly is Lombardi. Cross court pass, Lavasor top of the key. Throws it over on the right side. And they're going to get a traveling call. Trying to go right baseline was Jillian Lombardi. Frontier reclaims possession. They lead by one. Five and a half to play here in the first half. Deep on the left side, Megan Self into the left corner. They go to Marie Demon. Bounce pass, Mays Pollen. Top of the key. Now they go right side to self again, right corner. They jump out on Demon this time, so she fakes it. She goes for the bank, no good. Therio gets the rebound. Throws up ahead on the right side. Youngberg for three. That shot is no good. Fouled her own shot. Throws up a runner, no, but a foul down low on Frontier. 
very quick player, that eighth grader, Sage Youngberg. She yeah. go to the line for two. Doesn't look like an eighth grader, but she doesn't play like an eighth grader, but she's definitely slight in size, but great basketball ability. She'll be shooting two off to our left. First one is up, it is no good. We'll talk more about this at halftime, but the Division Four field with some local representation. Hopkins got the number six seed. They're at home against Hamden Charter. Franklin County Tech got the five. They're at home against Pathfinder tonight, and Pioneer is in action in that uh, Division Four field as well. As they snuck into the tournament at the last moment. Second free throw, no good. Frontier, 14-13. Sierra Warren just checked back in. Her pass is batted down. Recaptured by Mack, and Caitlin comes through, no good. Rebound taken down by Palmer. Ariel gets it away. Youngberg, left side pass. Coming through now is Lombardi. Lombardi gives it up, Lavasur, top of the key. Puts it to the floor, stolen away by Marie Demon. Heading down court, two on two break, feeds it left side, Mack and goes up, yes! Don't get lazy with the ball around Marie Demon tonight. 16-13, and now an unforced error right off the hands of Lombardi heading down court. I'm not sure she wasn't ready for the pass, but it just went right off her hands. Yeah, Palmer's breaking down a bit right now. This is a good chance for Frontier to go on a run here. Well, I think if the Red Hawks get a bucket here, you're going to see Coach Lavasur of Palmer call a timeout. Deep on the left side, Demon for three, it's good! Marie Demon, that good no gymnasium. And Time there, out. There you go, timeout, Palmer will take the break. 3.57 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 19, Palmer 13 on Bear Country 95.3. The way things are going right now, there's a real opportunity here for Frontier to put this game away right now. Because Palmer is all over the place, there's no flow and they're making all kinds of errors. If Frontier can keep the foot on the uh, pedal on the metal, they could put this game away right now. Halfway through the second in Frontier, trailed by three at one point, they're now up by six. That's a nine point swing. Lombardi, they work at left side, Youngberg, down low to Lavasur, found a free lane, turn, nice little post up jumper, it's good. They needed that battle. They did. 19-15 Frontier. Down low, Mays Paula, nice shot by Demon is no good, and a whistle and a foul on the rebound. That is going to go, who got the ticket? It is on Sobieski, her second. I thought maybe they got Elena Mays Paula, but evidently not, it was on Sobieski. They get it down low, Lavasur, try to go up, loses it on the way up. And Frontier came away with it, unfortunately for them. Caitlin Mackin had the ball with one foot on the baseline. So it will go back to Palmer. Coming in is another eighth grader, Vanessa Bear, a shooting guard, number 44. So they're looking to get some offense out there. So Bear, seeing her first minutes, there are two eighth graders on the floor right now for the Panthers, Bear and also Sage Youngberg. All right, we got some sort of delay, but we're ready to go now. Three out, we'll check in. Throwing out of the baseline. Young Burke throws on the left side to Lombardi. Top of the key. Through the hands, though, of the eighth grader. Bear could have come over with that loose ball on the floor. Batted around. It's going to be off of the Panthers. My Amiga. I think Frontier got a break there. I thought Mackin was the last one to touch it. Yeah, it looked like it went right off her, uh, either her shin or her hand. Warren will inbound off to our right. And she will throw in to Marie Demon. It's had a hot shooting hand so far. Top of the key, Warren over to Marie Demon. Marie trying to back in, can't do so. Tried to get a wraparound pass down low. Held ball on the rebound. Arrow will favor Frontier. They will have 17 seconds to shoot. They'll inbound on the baseline right. Warren will throw in. Smacks the ball, they break. And gets it into Marie Demon deep on the right side. Marie into the paint. Her runner is no good. He get the rebound. Thuriel throws it up on the right side. Youngberg has it between the circles. Angles towards the left. Bounce pass left side. Gets it back. Open jumper by the eighth grader. That shot is no good. And Mays Poland gets the rebound. 
Warren runs it up on the left. Top three, stolen. Got a pocket picked by Lombardi, and Lombardi's gonna take it coast to coast, lays it up and misses it. A one on zero break, and a timeout is called by Frontier. We'll take the break, 2.18 to play here, the first half, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier by four, 19.15 over Palmer. This is Bear Country, 95.3. Warren, top of the key. Sobieski, try to get it down low. They finally work over Warren. She'll take a three, left side air ball too strong. Running it down, uh, nice attempted save by Sobieski, but it comes down to Palmer. Youngberg has it on the right side. And a blocking foul called against Frontier. Much of the frustration of the student section happened right in front of them. I see the Frontier guys up there. They're getting ready to play later this week. I see uh, Donovan Hoffman, I see uh, Gabe Graczynski up there, I see Wachowicz. Skywalker. Yes. Oh, they try to get it down low, off the hands of Sobieski. It'll stay with Palmer, 157 to play in the half. Panthers trail by four. Inbounding on the left side is Miga. Gets it in. And we're gonna travel on the right side, shuffling her feet, the eighth grader, Bear. Yeah, Frontier's got to start taking advantage of some of these unforced errors and turning them into points. It's a big missed opportunity if you don't make those count for you. Kendall Lavasur checks back in for the Palmer Panthers. 1.52 to play here in the first half. Frontier with the ball and a four-point lead. Marie Demon, Left wing, top of the key, Sobieski. So they get her away from the paint for now. Marie Demon. Gets it down low to Mackin, loses the handle. Lavasur picks it up for Palmer. So a reprieve here for the Panthers to see if they can take advantage. Youngberg takes it on the right side. Picked off, nice defensive play there by Sobieski. Sobieski gets the return pass. Mistimed her jump though. She was on her way down when the pass was coming. Goes off her hands and back to the Panthers. Oh, this is the kind of a, a game that drives coaches nuts. I mean, this is a lot of unforced errors, a lot of mistakes. We'll talk about it at halftime, but both these teams have got to swift up a bit. Jamariah McTire, McTier rather, better known as JoJo, passed up out of bounds. She just checked back in for Palmer. Ball got knocked out of bounds. Mays Poland checks out. And LaFord back in here for the Hawks. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Bounding deep on the right side. Thurio gets it in. McTeer gets it back top of the key to Youngberg. Shuffle pass back and a three point bomb. Went going for the bank was Lombardi, no good. McTeer, the rebound goes up strong, no. Held ball on the rebound, the arrow will favor Palmer. And a fresh 30. 59.8 seconds left to play here in the first half. Lavasur, coming through. Bounce pass down low to no one. I guess they were going to McTeer, but it was nowhere near her. Goes out of bounds, back to Frontier. 53.4 seconds left here in the half. Marie Demon jogs it across the timeline left. Passes top three, kind of a lazy pass, and going to the floor to get that ride. Unforced error. Sobieski went to the floor to get the uh, loose ball and traveled. Yeah, it's just been sort of a variation on a theme here in this first half. Well, I'll tell you what, if whoever advances out of this game, if they don't yeah. get the passing game down better, they're going to lose by about 40 points. Exactly. That's the same thing I was thinking. Thursday night up in Dalton. Pass picked off by Marie Demon. Three on three break. Marie comes all the way through. Scoop shot. In and out, no good. McTeer had the rebound and a foul called against Demon, trying yep. to bat it away. She was trying to get back what she thought was a loose ball and got a hand, and that's two on her. Two personals on Marie. 31.8 seconds left. Here on the half quick substitution. Birdwell checks in for Frontier. Marie Demon will sit with those two fouls. Yeah, very, very important to get her out of there with the two so yeah. she hasn't picked up another one before the half. Good move there by Michonne, and uh, we are shooting. We're into the one and one now. And McTeer will shoot off to our left. And she is only a sophomore. Very, very young team. No, she's a freshman, freshman. actually. Yep. First one is good. 
No seniors on this Palmer team. Two eighth graders, a couple of freshmen, several sophomores, and the rest are juniors. Second freebie is up, banked that one in. 19-17, Frontier's been the better team, but they only lead by two here. Top of the key, Ooh. Megan Self nearly walked, shuffle pass back. Mateer nearly batted it down. Mackin, LaFord, passes nearly picked up by Palmer, out of bounds, it'll stay with Frontier, 15 to shoot, 16.6. .6. On the game clock here in the first half, LaFord will throw in, no, they change up, Self will throw in just off to our right. Megan gets the ball from Dave Blanchett, zips it in, LaFord between the circles, 12 seconds, loops it past right side, Megan Self from 17, good! All by herself, literally. Frontier by four, three seconds left. Midcourt jumper is no good, and that'll do it. Halftime here in South Deerfield, good no gymnasium. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the Frontier Red Hawks 21, the Palmer Panthers 17, you're listening to Bear Country coverage of the 2020 MIAA Basketball Tournament. Bear Country, 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. This is the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report, MIAA Western Mass Girls Division III preliminary round, and the eight seeded Frontier Red Hawks lead the number nine seed Palmer Panthers at halftime, 21 to 17. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins here, and Dave Reno is in the studio in Greenfield. Uh, judging not only tournament basketball, but really any basketball game. A little lackluster performance, both sides. Frontier leads by four. They could probably easily lead by double digits here, Chris. Yeah, that, that first half was not a monument to Dr. Maysmith at all, uh, I would say. But, I, you know, it, it's, it's one of those situations where Frontier, if, if they had taken advantage of the opportunities Plummer gave them, this game would be almost out of reach at this point for Palmer. And Frontier's not great shooting and not great passing. A lot of turnovers, a lot of unforced errors on both sides of the ball. Uh, this should not be as close of a game as it is. I think clearly Frontier is the better team in terms of fundamentals. But uh, in, in tournament play, it comes down to emotion. It comes down to the ball bouncing the wrong way for someone. And Frontier really has to, I think, in the second half, play much more fundamental basketball. Slow the pace down. Don't get into a, a run-and-gun rock fight with these guys. Play your game, basically. If they play their game, they're not going to lose this game. But if they start getting sucked into Palmer's game, they could very well walk out of here losing. The perimeter shooting has been uh, terrific so far for the Red Hawks. Neither team has been able to get it. Uh, the entry passes in the paint, uh, just not working at all. No, the interior passing is not working, and, and I think Palmer has done a good job defensively on, uh, on Amita Sobieski. Every time the ball goes near her, there's two or three blue shirts there. She's obviously well scouted. She's a danger on the baseline. But the woman, I think, who's keeping Frontier out in front is Marie Dean. Has 13 of her team's 21 points and is definitely, at this point, the odds-on favorite for the Helena Chemical Player of the Game t-shirt. 21-17, Frontier with a four-point lead at halftime. We'll take a break. We'll run down the other games happening tonight and the games happening tomorrow night. Night one of the tournament rolls on from South Deerfield. This is Bear Country, 95.3. All right, third quarter set to begin. Frontier with the ball in a four-point lead. Self gets it into Marie Demon. Mega gets it right back left side. Palmer coming out very aggressively defensively. Sobieski, they got the ball over this time. Couldn't quite finish, though. 
back the other way quickly come the Panthers and they lost the ball but picking it up and putting it in Madeline Thuriel 21-19 Frontier Marie Demon drives through the lane banks it in she could very well take over this game in the, in the second half look for her 23-19 Frontier by four Lavasur double team a high pass over the head of Lombardi Lombardi needed to be about 6-5 to get it, instead yeah. she's about 5-5. Five five. Yeah, Peter Carey might have cut that pass, but nobody else, I don't think. So Frontier now with a chance to extend the lead. Their biggest lead was six at 19-13. They lead 24-19 right now. They go down low, shot up no good. Loose ball, picked up by the Panthers. Thuriel takes it in. Left side, kicks it in the left side to get into the corner. Open jumper, left side is good. That's good for two by Miga. And shot there by Maya, 23-21. Palmer back to within two. Demon. Left side it went to Kylie LaFord. Here comes Megan Self. Picks up the dribble, foul line right. Loops it right corner to Demon. LaFord, top of the key. They work it left side to Self. Shot clock at 10. Long pass over to Sobieski, taking it in. Nice spin move on the baseline, puts it up and in. Got to get more of that from Amelia. That's her first field goal of the game. 25-22, Frontier by four. 6-22 to play here in the third quarter. Again, winner goes up through the Berkshires to Dalton on Thursday night to play number one Wakona. Ball tipped out of bounds off Frontier. That was great D by LaFord to shut the baseline off and force that uh, ball out. Thuriel will throw in on the baseline right. Holding, holding, finally gets it into Lavasur. Puts it to the floor, right of the lane. Nice dish in the paint. Whoa. The runner up by Lombardi, no good. An attempted save by Jillian Lombardi. Couldn't quite get it over to Miga. Her teammate goes back to Frontier. That was a crazy looking shot, but it almost went in. Self will throw in for Frontier. Some backcourt pressure now by the Panthers, but it's broken easily by the Red Hawks. Sobieski waits for her teammates to catch up. Left side is Mackin. They get it back to Self at the center court circle. Megan Self stops, loops the pass in the left corner. Kylie LaFord, wraparound pass, top the key to Demon. Right side, they go down. Sobieski gets it back. Self's gonna take a three, it's good! Megan Self knocks down the tray. Biggest lead of the night for Frontier at seven points. 28-21, Lavasor down low. Nice move by the eighth grader, putting it up and in. Sage Youngberg. That was a great play by Youngberg. Nice little up fake there. Panthers back to within five now. 28-23, they go for the steal. Marie Demon comes all the way through, no good. Shot, and a foul is called against Lavasor. Yeah, that should be her third. And we'll put it up here in a second. Yeah, three personals. On Lavasur. And we'll see if Palmer gets someone up off the bench. Yeah, they will. McTeer will check in for Lavasur. And for Frontier, they're going to get Bridwell back into the lineup. One more for Marie Demon, trying to make it once again a seven point game. That free throw around, no good. So Bieski, the rebound, got it. Be a good time for Amelia to catch fire. That's two good plays by her on the baseline. 31-23, Frontier now by eight. Youngberg, double teamed on the left side, got it away to her teammate. Ferriero comes through and a hand check foul called. It's gonna go against Frontier. It's gonna go against uh, Mackin. And on Caitlin, that is her first, first on the team this half. So a new shot clock for the Panthers. They get it in a wide open three ball, put up Youngberg. No, it's too short. And Miga got the rebound, but blocked on the way up. Long pass down low. Oh, McTeer with a great defensive play, denying Mackin. Therio now takes it into the front court. Stops top of the key. Left side pass. And that shot is up and no good. Three point bomb by Lombardi. They get it back. Lombardi drives the lane and lays it up and in, no one was there. Yeah, nobody went near her, which was odd. Palmer back to within six now, 31-25. 4.26 to play here in the third quarter. That's going to be a kick on Thuriel. 
Ends up in the Frontier backcourt, and the Hawks now will take over. They're going to throw in right in front of us. Ted Palmer is a scrappy defensive team. They played really good on defense tonight. Mackin will throw in just off to our left. Gets it in to Marie Demon. Top of the key. Takes it to the foul line. Bounce pass left side. Bridwell. Nice entry pass down low. Shot was no good. Sobieski got the rebound. Reaching foul call, though, against Palmer down low. Are they going to say she was in the act of shooting? No, probably yep. not. On the okay. floor. Yep. The you can't do that champ. <laughs> We're going to hear that a lot at the cage in a week and a half. Ugh. Inbounds pass is tipped away. Long pass. Youngberg, nice pass, and the lefty lane is up and good by Lombardi. That was a solid play. I'll tell you, Frontier cannot sleep on these guys. 31 27. Frontier halfway through the third quarter here. Left side, shot up, is no good by Bridwell. Rebound taken down, but tipped away. Mackin turns, up fakes, and a foul is going to be called on the floor. And I believe they got 30 on that one. Yep, they did. Substitution. And Mays Palmer will check in for Bridwell for Frontier. That's two personal fouls, by the way, against Thurio. Get it deep on the right side, coming through. Back top of the key. Megan Self loops a pass down low, and so uh, was that Sobieski down Sobieski. there? Sobieski. Heating up here a little bit. Frontier now back up by six, 33-27. Pass tipped away. Frontier looks to run, and a foul is going to be called on Lombardi, who is trying to kind of steer Sobieski towards her own bench. It's only the first foul on Lombardi, so no problem there, but. 3.31 to play third quarter. Frontier by six. Self. And yeah. a high pass. Too high, in fact. Well over the head of Sobieski. Well, that's the, they're trying to feed Sobieski on the baseline, which is not a bad move. It's resulted in six points tonight in the second half. Timeout. Palmer will take the break. 3.26 to play here third quarter on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 33. Palmer 27 on Bear Country 95.3. Great block down low by Sobieski. Back the other way. The lean in is no good though by Marie Demon. And back come the Panthers the other way. Miga tipped away from behind. That's going to be a reaching foul call against Frontier. Well, Amiga came all the way back to get back on defense, which was a, a great play in and of itself, but she did get draw the foul, and that's three on her. Halftime at the Hornets' Nest in North Adams. A buzzer beater three by Scoville makes it 22-13 Pioneer at halftime. Now a steal by Frontier. McIndoe couldn't corral it. Loose ball picked up by Caitlin. Deep on the right side. Puts it to the floor, and a reach-in foul is called against Palmer. So that is good news is Frontier, which had to get hot late to sneak into the tournament. They could get a big road win at North Adams. They're halfway home. We'll keep you updated on that one. Mace Poland gets it in. Right side, Marie Demon. Cuts into the paint. Throws up a runner way short. Just too weak with that shot. And it comes away to Lombardi. Lombardi will take it across himself, herself. Cross court pass on the left side. Youngberg. Foul line loops past the right side. Lombardi finds a little bit of a scene. Goes for the reverse layup. Hits the underside of the backboard and stepping out of bounds was Palmer. Gonna go back to the Red Hawks with a six point lead here. And bounds the ball to Mackin. Mackin will take it out of the front court right. In a high post, Sobieski, and wow, reaching yeah. foul called against Jalen Lombardi. A little quick with the whistle, and not a ton of contact. I don't think Sobieski expected that pass from Mackin. Mackin just kind of wung it at her, and Lombardi reached in, very nearly had a steal, and got called for the foul. They inbounded down low, putting up it in. Nice job there by Mackin. Another bucket for Caitlin. Lead up to eight now. 35-27, three-point bomb put up left side, no good. Lombardi went to the floor to get her own rebound. Here comes Marie Demon, three on two break. Marie gets it right side. Megan Self puts it up, in and out, no good. Rebound, Demon had it, lost it. Back the other way. 
Come the Panthers, and the runner put up and in. And Thurio is going to go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, Thurio did a great job to even get that shot off and drew the foul. Lavasur, who has uh, three fouls, will check in for the Panthers. Sitting down is Maya Miga. 1.52 to play, third quarter. Palmer sticking around. Frontier excelled in the second quarter. Got a four-point lead, and they've kept it between four and eight ever since then. Free throw, though. No good. Frontier herself finds herself free. Right block puts it up. Ooh, in and out, no good. Battle for the board, held ball. The arrow will favor the Panthers. Yeah, those, those are the ones you kind of got to make. But uh, again, good luck for Megan on the baseline. Minute 40 to play here in the third quarter. Frontier with the ball. Uh, Frontier on defense, rather, leading by six. Youngberg, they're going to get it with steps as she shuffled her feet before she made her pass. Warren back in for Frontier and Self will sit for the Hawks. We'll see how our locals do tonight and tomorrow night. Again, we have a lot of local representation in Hampshire and Franklin County, but not too many teams that uh, are expected to go all that deep. Frontier had it, lost it, getting it back. Mace Paulin puts it up, no good. Rebound, Mc Tire the rebound. Lombardi pulls back. Her 18-foot jumper is short. Marie Demon corrals the loose board. Coming down to the one-minute mark, Frontier continues to lead by six. 35-29. Mackin, right side. Mace Pullen puts it up, partially blocked. Matier the rebound. JoJo gets it over on the right side, running it up. Thurio has it deep on the right side. Skip pass all the way to Lombardi. Lombardi into the paint. Little scoop shot, no. And a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Sierra Warren. Yep. That's 14 fouls on Frontier, and that is three personals on Warren. She will stay out there uh, evidently for now, but we may see Megan Self again. The inbound. Tyrio goes up strong. No good. Here comes Mackin back the other way. Going one on four. Had it poked away from behind off of the Palmer defender. Frontier with the ball, 25 to shoot, 39.1 seconds left on the game clock third quarter. The Ford gets it in, Warren wide open for three, and she buries it. It spun back and almost looked like it was going to pop up, but ended up falling. 38-29, the lead is nine. Levasseur, foul line jumper, back rim, no, comes down the Frontier, shot clock off. 22 on the game clock, Coach Michon says I want one shot. On the right side, Warren. They work at left side. Down to 12 seconds. They're going to the left corner to Warren. She's going to take another three. That one is short. Rebound, though. Marie Demon had it batted away. Four seconds left. Comes down to LaFon. One second left. They put it up at the buzzer. No good. End of three here. Good no gymnasium in South Deerfield. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 38, Palmer 29. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. So Frontier outscored Palmer 17-12 in that third quarter. A little bit of a better uh, quarter for Frontier. And Palmer still playing scrappy defense, but their offense has been somewhat inconsistent. It all comes down to this final eight minutes. And uh, one of these teams will punch their ticket to the next round in Wakona waiting in the wings. The Wakona Warriors out of Dalton. They're the number one seed, and they're... 
the odds on favorite to win it. Uh, somewhat number one seeds aren't that, that strong number one seeds. Wakona really is. But that's Thursday night. We gotta get through Monday night here first. They get it into Sobieski, right side to Warren. Nice ball movement. Mackin's gonna take a three. That's an air ball and attempt to save. Oh, what a great play on the baseline by Mays Pollen. As she saved it, went off the Palmer player. Hawks will keep it with 16 to shoot. That was slick by Elena, good work. She will throw in now, gets the ball from the official. <laughs> and they throw a turnover right away. All the way through, Youngberg will lay it up and in. 38-31. Frontier's lead is seven. Marie Demon passes on the left side. Mackin will go baseline, sealed off there. Ooh, threw it too hard and too awry, yeah. trying to get it to Mace Paul. This is where you get a little nervous. You know, a couple of unforced errors there. Taking it across is Youngberg. Great ball handler. And Lavasur all by herself. Ooh, missed from the left block. Battle for the rebound. Goes off of her. And we're going the other way. Well, Lavasur is all alone. She could have taken one more step, I think. Yep. And probably made that shot. Warren throwing in on the baseline. Gets it into Marie Demon. Frontier leads by seven. Marie into the front court. Nearly stolen. Picks up the dribble. Has got to get rid of it. Mack and Sobieski calling for the ball. They get it to her. Went for the bank. No good. Mackin battling for the rebound, goes up in a foul. She'll go to the line for two free throws. Had a tough time at the charity stripe in the first half. Needs to make these. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost a, it's a real war going on down in that baseline. Every time Frontier touches the ball, that time Mackin kept it alive and drew the foul. First free throw, no good. You do not want to keep this Palmer team too close. Second free throw. That one is no good as well. Tipped around. Held ball. Arrow will favor the Palmer Panthers. A good job by Lombardi to get in there and dig that one out. The Rio will inbound on the baseline. Gets it into Lombardi. And taking it across the timeline now. They get into the high post. Here comes Lombardi. A little hook pass to Lavasor. Try to get it right back to Lombardi. Picked off though by Frontier. Hawks, well, they looked like they wanted to break, but couldn't really do so. Mackin has it, center court circle, gets it over to Marie Demon. In the left corner is Warren. Warren to Mackin. Mackin deep in the left corner, shot clock at 15, pass batted down, and that's gonna go off Mackin. Nice yep. defensive play there by McTeer. Yeah, McTeer could have hand on it, and it went off Mackin, and then out of bounds. Six minutes, 30 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Frontier leading by seven. They've led by as many as nine. They get it down low. Therio, nice pass from Lavasur, and she finishes. It's down to a five-point game. Sierra Warren extends along the sideline right, and a reaching foul is called against the Palmer Panthers. And that timeout called. We'll take the break. 38-33 in favor of Frontier. Early fourth quarter, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. We're back after this. It's a good night for the local girls. Tech is winning. Pioneer is winning on the road. And Frontier holding serve so far. But we are not done yet, not even close. They lead by five with 6.17 to play. A steal. Oof. Coming all the way through. And the runner is up. Count it and a foul. What a play by the freshman, Paige Sage Youngberg. She's going to the line. That foul is on Marie Demon. And that is, I'm not sure how many that's on Marie, but that's three. Okay, I thought it was that four. That is three on Marie Demon. And it's now down to a one possession game. And Youngberg here could make it a two point game. It's on the way. It is good. 38-36, Frontier Warren nearly lost it. McTeer's right on her, Sierra, got it away. Nice crossover dribble. Gets it right side, self hits the short bunny jumper. Got the bounce. 40-36, to 36 Frontier, 5.50 to play here in the game. Youngberg gets it back, Thurio down low. McTeer rejected by Sobieski. Big play. Outlet pass over. To Warren, long pass down court to Self. Megan pulls it back from 19. 
Back rim, no good. Rebound though, taken down by Demon. Warren gets it back to Demon in the left corner. Tension getting high here at Goodno Gymnasium. From yep. this large crowd. You got a fresh 30, slow it down, take your time. Marie Demon, deep on the left. Stops at the top of the key. Passes over to Self. Mackin has it, shot clock down to 10. They go down low, Sobieski. Blocked on the way up, held ball. And the arrow will favor Frontier, however. Only seven seconds to shoot here in this critical possession. I drop it right into Sobieski's hands on the baseline and go up strong. We'll see who will throw in. It will be Self, she usually does throw in. They get it in the right corner, three point bomb put up by Warren, back rim no good. Matir the rebound, Palmer can tie or take the lead on a three. Coming through Lombardi, scoop shot blocked. Nice job there, tipped out of bounds on the stay with Palmer. Nice D down low though by Sobieski. Thurio will throw in on the baseline. Smacks the ball right in to Lavasur, holds. A high pass nope. over the cutter. It's going to end up going out of bounds. It'll go back to the Red Hawks. They caught a big break there. They did. 40 to 36. Frontier by four. 455 to play. Possession arrow favors Palmer. And uh, Frontier's in the in the bonus now. Now a steal by Lombardi. Kind of a lazy pass there. Dave Michon just kind of shrugs his shoulders. He's seen that a few times tonight. Warren nearly got the steal. Coming through Youngberg, going baseline, stripped on the way up. Nice D down low and a nice save on the baseline. All the way down to Sobieski, all by herself. Lefty lane is good. Hawks up by six now, 42-36. 4.25 to play here in the basketball game. They go down low to Thurio, and she does a 360 and banks it in. She muscled her way in, nicely done. And now some backcourt pressure. Frontier's lead is four and a reach and foul call. That is going to go against Youngberg and we're shooting one and one on the other side. That's only one on Youngberg. Mace Polo will come in. Self will sit for the Hawks. I don't think she'll be out for long. Frontier's free throw shooting has been uh, substandard so far tonight. Warren misses the front end of the one-on-one, tipped around and ends up in Warren's hands. Right down low, Sobieski rejected though by Lavasor, but the rebound picked up by Mackin. She got fouled, she'll go the line to shoot two. Well, Mackin's done that all night, where she's come in at the, the, at the after, a missed shot or a block and drawn the foul, and that's four big ones on Lavasor. Mackin though has not had a lot of success at the line. First of two, that one is good. It's like a reverse jinx on that one. <laughs> Lead back to five. This one could make it a two possession game here. If she can make it. And she does, perfect. 44-38. Hawks lead by six. We're halfway through the fourth quarter now. Lombardi to Lavasor, top of the key. Loops a pass right side. Youngberg from 15, yes. Well, she's a ball player, I'll tell you. She really, really is. Solid. 44-40, Palmer just will not go away. Mace Pollen gets it down low. Sobieski turns, partially blocked. Loose ball battled for, comes away to Palmer. Double team in the backcourt, steal by Mace Pollen. Warren, right side, three ball. Too strong, no good. The tier the rebound. Up at Lombardi. Lavasur has it. Right side, 19 foot jumper is up. That's an air ball too strong. What a save though by Lombardi and Lavasur misses from the foul line, just rimmed out on her. We're down to 315 to play. Front two with the ball, they lead by four. Number one, Wakona awaits. Frontier just looking for that dagger. Uh oh, miscommunication. Mackin was going one way, Demon's pass going the other way and Demon touch, touches herself saying that was on me. 3.05 to play in the basketball game. Frontier have to bear down on defense yet again. They've had a fine night on that end. Three minutes of play, now a steal. Sobieski picks up the dribble, gets it over. Nice yeah. Paul and nearly traveled. The Palmer crowd wanted it. Mackin to the line, to the lane, all the way through, puts it up and in. Big play by Caitlin Mackin. 
Frontier by six, 46-40, 240 to play. Youngberg gets it over, Lombardi three ball, banks it in. Bank the three, <laughs> wow. And, and a quick timeout call by Palmer. Ah. 234 to play in this one. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 46, Palmer 43 on Bear Country 95.3. Well, we are far from done here. It's a three-point game with just under three minutes left. And the Palmer Panthers refuse to go quietly. They'll take a little extra time here coming out of the timeout. They come out with the same five they had out there. Uh, both teams with the same five that were just out on the floor right now. Sierra Warren, a bit of big three a moment ago, will inbound with some backcourt pressure by the Panthers. Warren. Gets it over right side to Marie Demon. Ooh, picks up the dribble. Gets it over to Mackin. Mackin drives the lane. Right side, Sobieski. Gets it down low to Marie Demon and got blocked and a foul. She oh. got blocked twice, actually. Maybe got fouled twice, but definitely called the second time. I was going to say, <laughs> two for the price of one on that one. 219 to play. And what do we have? That was 10 team fouls, so two free throws now. No good on the first one. It is still a one possession game with 219 to play. One more for Marie Demon. It's on the way, it's good. 47-43, it's a two possession game for Frontier. We come down to the two minute mark. Coming through the lane, Lombardi, a little hook pass. Lavasura misses the bank. And the loose ball's picked up by Mackin. Big opportunity here now, Frontier offensively. They make a bucket here, Palmer will be in a bit of trouble. Marie Demon on the left. Wraparound pass gets it over, right side. Mays Paulin has it. Marie Demon, shot clock at 12. Gets it to Sierra Warren. Mays Paulin, down low to Mackin, coming through, she gets blocked. Great defensive play by Thurio. Now it's gonna come all the way through. Lefty laying off the glass, oh. just rimmed out on her, no good. 133 to play. Frontier continues to lead by four. Double teamed in the backcourt. And a timeout is called by Frontier because Warren was in big trouble. We'll step aside for a break. 1.31 to play in the basketball game. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier over Palmer by four. It's 47-43 on Bear Country 95.3. Timely timeout there by Coach Dave Michon as Sierra Warren was about to get called for a travel. And Frontier will inbound and under the Palmer basket. Warren to throw in. Great pressure on the ball. They finally get it into Marie Demon. That's what they want to have it right now. Marie has it in the backcourt, doubled there. Back to Sierra Warren. Sierra gets a screen. Into the front court, passes batted down, but recaptured by Mace Pollen. Shot clock at seven. Here comes Warren, goes to the floor again, tips it over to Marie Demon. Two seconds left, one at the buzzer, shot up by Mackin is no good. But the weak side rebound put up by Frontier over the backboard. It goes back to Palmer. A minute four left, Frontier by four. Got to deny the three here, if at all possible for Frontier. Matier gets the ball in. Youngberg takes it across, Lombardi. Going right baseline, puts it up, block, no good. Nice interior D. Mackin comes back. It's a three on two break. Mackin over to Sobieski, banks it in. That may be it right there. Frontier by five with 45 seconds left. They're in good shape now. They need one more spot. Coming through, Youngberg comes through and is fouled. And she'll go the line for two free throws. Stops the clock with 40 point seconds left, but a six point lead for the Hawks. That's four on Sobieski, but that's actually a good fourth foul to take. Yep. Because Youngberg was headed straight to the basket. The eighth grader in her first tournament game, shooting two. First one, back rim, no. The lead she's been, a, she's been a force for Palmer in this game. She's one of the reasons why it's this close. Well, if this is her last game of her eighth grade year, she has four more years ahead of her at Palmer High School. Second free throw, that is good. Hold the phone, Puh. lane violation, Palmer wave off the point, and Frontier maintains a six point lead. 
40 seconds left to play. It's 49-43 Hawks. In the backcourt, a quick foul by Youngberg and shooting two on the other end will be Marie Demon with a chance to really ice this. this it's already a two possession game. Even one make makes it three possessions and Frontier will be in good shape. And then we will see what happens on Thursday night up in Dalton. All right. First of two is up by Marie Demon is no good. So for now, anyway, remains a two possession game. Palmer's gonna have to jack threes the rest of the way here. I think it might be, she might have blood on her hand. She was walking up the floor, wiping off her hand on her yep. shorts. Okay, so that's the situation. So they may have to get a shooter for her. They did call a timeout. We'll keep it right here. Well, I can tell you that in the Division Four field for girls, bad. this is D3 here, but in Division Four you had uh, an update. Uh, Tech was a winner. 47 to 25, so congratulations to Coach Joe Gamash and his team first year coach there. Awesome job, they advance now to the next round with their victory at home. Well, they earned that four, no question about that. Pioneer, though, they're going on the road tonight in North Adams, going into the Hornets Nest, as they call it, taking on the McCantech Hornets up in North Adams. And they were leading in the second half at last check. We will try to get a final before we leave the year. I'm waiting to hear from Coach Churchill. Well, I'll tell you, he's, he's, that's a great story, too. Yeah. I mean, Churchill's a first-year coach, taking over a Pioneer team, from, which was coached for many years by Meg. And, and they, they got in by the skin of their teeth, but they got in and could very well advance. And they lost a lot of talent from last year's team. Most notably, their uh, four-year starting center. All right, six-point lead for Frontier. One more coming for Marie Demon with a chance to make it a three-possession game. The gym grows quiet. The free throw is good. Makes it 50 to 43. 38 seconds left to play, and Palmer's got to think three. McTeer, they go left side Lombardi. McTeer, they need a three. They'll take it on the right nope. side. That is no good. Youngberg goes out of bounds. Back to Frontier, and the Hawks are going to get the W. You could see that from here, that that was way offline and never even touched the rim. And we're going to hear the warm up the bus chant. Although it was so mild today, you don't have to warm it up too long. Palmer is pressing and trapping all over the court. Marie Demon comes through. She is fouled by Youngberg. I just read her lips. She said, I didn't even touch her. <laughs> well, maybe you did a little bit. Maybe you did just... Just a tad there, Sage. First free throw around the rim and in. 51-43, Frontier by eight. She's made five free throws tonight, which is pretty good considering the way this team's been shooting free throws lately. And the second one is good, 52-43. So they're gonna win going away now. But it did get a little dicey for a while there. We'll talk about it on our post-game show. Lavasur gets fouled now. You know, you want to play defense here, but you do not want to. I mean, it's immaterial here, 12 seconds left. So yes, he's out. That's, a, that's her fifth. Yeah. Just let them run the clock down, and the time is on your side. Nice job there by Sobieski. They had all kinds of trouble getting her the ball in the first half. They finally got her on track in the second. Wait a minute, they didn't call it on her. I thought they called it on Sobieski. No, no she came off, but no. It's on Mac, and I think she thought it was on her. No, wait a second. Somebody's going off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sobieski's still in there. Mac, and that's your third foul, so Amelia's still in the game. I thought he saw, I saw one, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dave Blanchett Dave went Blanchett's over. It, it, it is against Sobieski. It should be. And, and she, Sobieski, came, she came off the court saying, yeah, I, foul, I know I fouled out. And now she's going to go to the bench. Yeah, no, I, I was obvious, I thought. And Birdwell will come in to replace her. Okay. Yeah, well you, 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 Chris, you had it the whole time. Well, this is kind of the way this game has gone. You know? <laughs> a little bit. It's, a little just, bit. it's a bit of comedy of errors in a lot of ways. But it's going to end with a W for Frontier. After losing here less than a month ago to this very same team, first by Lavasur is good. That breaks a nice long run by Frontier. And Kendall will get one more here. 
It's on the way. That one is good. 52 to 45, 12 seconds left. They get it in, oh. Bridwell and Travel. Well, well no, it should have been a travel, but instead they're gonna call a foul. <laughs> That's gonna go against Lombardi. It's still one of those kinds of nights. And Bridwell will go to the line. Rebecca, junior, so she'll be back next year, but we don't want to talk about next year yet because they get to play at least one more game. First free throw is good. 53-45, and Rebecca will get one more. Our post-game show coming up, including the Helen the Chemical Player of the Game. I have an idea who that would be. Yeah. Second freebie is good. Ten seconds left. Frontier now will just go back on D. They get it in. Youngberg will run it across. Lavasur, they get it down low, and a foul will call with 4.5 seconds left. And that's going to be on Caitlin. That'll be four on her, and it will be two shots for Jill Lombardi. Oh, no, they gave it on Bridwell. Bridwell, her first. So, again, immaterial at this point. A uh, couple of free throws by Jill Lombardi. First one is on the way. It is no good. Want to thank uh, more of the sponsors on the broadcast tonight. Meineke, Car Care Center, Smith Kelleher, Foster Supermarket. Second freebie is good. 54 to 46. And that will likely be our final. And that is our final. They dribble it out, and the Frontier Red Hawks have advanced to the Division Three quarterfinals. They will play top-seeded Wakona in Dalton Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And for the Palmer Panthers, they wind up the season 10 wins and 11 losses. We'll take a timeout. Our post-game report coming up next. Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Bear Country High School basketball post-game report from Good New Gymnasium, South Deerfield. The Frontier Red Hawks have advanced to the quarterfinal round. They will take on number one Makona on Thursday night by virtue of their 54-46 win over Palmer. It did not come easy. They struggled. For long stretches, but Chris, they also made some really good plays to get that W. They did. I mean, it was not a pretty game by any stretch on either side of the ball. Give Palmer a lot of credit. They're scrappy. They play tough defense. Uh, but Frontier just a little bit better, and I think that Frontier was the better team. I don't think that they played the kind of game that they usually play, but you know what? In tournament play, a lot of times emotions plays a factor. Sometimes nerves play a factor. But... Uh, they did come away with a, a big eight-point win, and now they got to go on to take on Wakona. And I will say, I guarantee you, Dave Michon is telling this in the locker room right now, you're going to have to play a lot better than you did tonight if you want to beat that Wakona team. But they won on their home floor. They got the job done, and we move on to the next round. Yeah, a lot of unforced errors, a lot of really poor passes uh, that really kind of kept Palmer in the game longer than they probably should have been kept in the game. But also uh, some credit to the Panthers. Uh, they made Frontier work to get this victory, but number eight does advance. Number nine sees their season come to an end. We will reveal the Helena, uh, Helena Chemical Player of the Game in a moment, but Chris, you can uh, run the final numbers here. Okay, so for Palmer, leading their team in scoring, Jill Lombardi with 14 points, 12 points for Sage Youngberg, who I think was the find of the game. She was fantastic. An eighth grader uh, just was everywhere, including one three-pointer. Ten points for Madeline Thuriault. Uh, four each for Kendall Lavasor and Maya Mega, and two points for Grammar Singer 
McTeer for the Frontier Redhawks, leading all scorers in the game. Reed Demon with 20 points, 11 for Amelia Sobieski, 8 for Caitlin Mackin, 7 for Megan Self, 6 for Sierra Warren, and 2 points for Rebecca Bridwell, both in the foul line. 54 46 is the final. Alrighty, with the win, Frontier now goes to 14 and 6 overall. And they advance, as we mentioned, against number one Wakona on Thursday night. Palmer finishes up the 2019-2020 season at 10 and 11. Now this Division Three bracket, so Frontier Wakona, Greenfield will be in action against either Sabas or East Hampton on Thursday night. That's the game we'll have for you here on Bear Country. Hampshire will be in action that night against either South Hadley or hopefully Mahar. We'll have to see if the uh, Senators are able to advance. They're on the road against South Hadley. Uh, Mount Greylock and Granby will play Husick. Now in the Division 4 field, again, we're awaiting the final from that Pioneer game. They had a second half lead on the road against McCann Tech. I'm keeping an eye on my phone. Nothing has gone final just yet, but they did lead at halftime, and I believe they led at the end of three as well. So we'll see if the uh, Panthers do in fact advance. Hopkins playing at home against Hamden Charter. We'll see if they advance. We already know Franklin Tech with an easy victory over Pathfinder. So they'll play either Lee or St. Mary's. If it's St. Mary's, that game will be at the Tech School on Thursday night. If it's Lee, the game will be out in the Berkshires. Tomorrow night, Chris, uh, Bear Country brings you the Battle of Powertown, the boys D4 prelim, Turner's Falls versus Franklin County Tech. And, you know, the, there's the game itself, but also the drama of Mr. Peterson going for his 1,000th career point. Oh, that's right, yes. He needs 19 to get it. That's right around his scoring average, so that adds a little extra drama to what's already a big game. Yeah, it's that's going to be a, just a fantastic game. And, uh, and and Frontier tomorrow night hosts Athol here. I'll have that game on Frontier Community Access Television, but I would much rather be at Turner's Falls. You and Bobby are going to have a lot of fun with that one, and we'll be right back, right back at it on Thursday night. So a big week of uh, first round and second round tournament basketball. Time now to reveal tonight's Helena Chemical Basketball Player of the Game. It will come from Frontier and really wire to wire. She got them off to a great start and she finished up strong as well. And she was pretty good in between too. We're talking about Marie Demon. Of I'm not sure they win this game without Marie Demon. She had 20 points, 13 of those in the first half. She made five key foul shots down the stretch and really was the leader out there. She runs the point. She's kind of like the heart and soul of this team playing in her last uh, tournament in her senior year and uh, definitely brought it all tonight. She was the best player on the floor, so she wins the t-shirt. The sole senior on this Frontier roster, Marie Demon. Congratulations to her. Helena Chemical Player of the Game. Final score for the final time tonight on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 54, the Palmer Panthers 46. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. And have a great night in Bear Country, everyone.